Hello everyone! In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a tutorial for Jitter Video Editor. So Jitter is a web-based application that allows you to animate your social media content. And the first thing you will want to do when you want to create a video with Jitter is obviously to create an account. So you can choose the way of you want to create your account. You can go ahead and insert your email manually or you can also log in with Google account. Once you're done with the account creation, you can now create your video. And you can choose to create your video whether it's from scratch or by starting out with a template. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and show you some of the templates that they have. You can see that they have some animated search bar, simple notification, black social media logo, round logo, etc. So if you want to make your social media even more interesting, you can use any of the templates that Jitter have, customize it, and then you can make it your own. In this video, we're going to start creating our animated video with templates as well as from scratch. So here I am just scrolling around and see if I found any templates that I found interesting. I would like to create an Instagram story for now, so I'm going to go ahead and try to see if there's any that's interesting. And I can see that this Instagram story three horizontal image just looks pretty interesting to me. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And once you click on it, you can see that we will have to duplicate this template first to edit. So go ahead and click duplicate to edit. And once it's done, now you can start and customizing all of the aspect that is available in this template. So the first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to replace all of the pictures into my own pictures and you can do that by simply clicking on the pictures that you would like to change. And then on the right side of your screen, you're going to see a menu where you can choose replace media. So you can go ahead and click on that and here I'm just going to change all three pictures that are available on the template. To edit the animations of each element, and for this case it's going to be the pictures, you can also take a look at the right side of your screen. On that menu you will see a new animation button. And over there there are selections of animation that you can choose. As you can see, I am now choosing the animation so that each one and every pictures will have different animation if you want, but I'm just making them all the same and on the bottom side of your screen you will see that there are several bars that you can move around those are actually this purple bar right here those are actually the durations of each element so you can see that I'm adjusting everything because I want the first pictures to come first the second one to come second etc etc to adjust those timing or to adjust the durations you can just go ahead and slide it around and you can also drag the very end of those purple bar to the right to make the duration longer or you can just type out the durations on the right side of the screen you can see that there is a duration bar right there and you can just how long the duration of each element will be for example right here i am going to change it from one second to five seconds and you can see that the bottom bar are getting longer that indicates that my elements are going to be there for five seconds and these directions arrow are for the animation i've chose the one that comes from up to down but i can always change the direction by clicking on those little arrow right there and here I am just showing you that you can also elongate the durations by simply clicking the end of the purple bar because I want everything to end at the same time. Uh, so I'm just adjusting it. On the top left of your screen, you're going to see several choices of element. For example, these stars one right here are going to give you a star element that you can alter. So you can enlarge it by simply dragging the tiny square at the edge of the element. 
and you can also play around with the shape itself. As you can see, the first star that we're going to get is this regular star that has five spikes to it. But if you click on design, you're going to see there is a spikes options and you can change the spikes to however much you want. For example, I change it to six and then into eight. And as you can see, now I have an eight spike star. To change the colors, you can just simply scroll down and then you will see this color sections right here. And you can choose the color by picking on the color bar. I'm deciding to make a pink star. And you see when you drag on your star when you're trying to enlarge it, it's going to distort it a bit. So the trick on how to make sure that you can size them without distorting it is clicking shift while you are dragging those tiny square whether it's outward or inward by clicking shift you're going to maintain the shapes of your elements and it's not going to be distorted and the next thing i did was just adding up some element i added square as well as circles and then i changed the colors and i added the animations effect to each one of my elements and this is the final look now, let's say that you like the design, but you also want to change the ratio of the design. You can do that by clicking on the format layout option. As you can see, it's going to give you the layout format for each phone, which is going to be helpful because you know that each phones have different ratio. So make sure to pay attention to that area before you export your video. Alright, and that is how you can alter and edit the templates that are available in Jitter. And now I'm going to show you how you can create some stuff from scratch. So this is what will the editing looks like when you start everything from scratch. At first I choose the desktop size, but I ended up changing my mind and I changed the ratio into Instagram post either. Right now, I'm going to show you how you can combine some elements and create a whole new different thing. So for now, I'm going to try and create a button by combining some of the elements that Jitter have. So the first thing that I'm going to insert is a square. And right here, you can see that it's just a regular square, nothing really interesting. But watch while I try to combine the square with other elements and create a whole new symbol. Remember that I told you when you want to enlarge your element to prevent it from distorting, you can just simply hold shift while you are playing around with it. And that's what I did for the first two shaping. And you can see here that these two elements combined already created a new one. And instead of Doing everything from scratch, I ended up duplicating the circle that I've already created first because I want them to have the same size and to be able to move them around together. What you can do is you can group them. As you can see here now, I can move them around and I don't have to move every single one of them individually. They have become a one unity. But if you still want to edit your element, you will still have to ungroup them first. As you can see here, I was trying to change the colors of my element, but the element will not be able to change its color altogether. And I ended up coloring the outside instead. So that's why before you color your combined element, you will still have to ungroup them first. And here, when I tried to color it again, the only things that got colored was just the rectangle so if you're combining several elements make sure to color each one of them so right here I'm af I was afraid that I might not be able to change the colors of each element exactly the same but thankfully they have the eyedropper tools so I can just click on it and then click on the color that I want and here you go now it looks like a whole symbol it doesn't look like it have several elements on it and now i'm just going to go ahead and add a text and after that i just settings the animation on each element whether it's the button or the text and as you can see right here there is an option to remove the background for your button let's say that i want to insert this to another pictures or 
another video i don't want the white background to be in it so to do that i can simply uncheck the fill section and the background is going to be removed now when you try to export your video you can see that there is a selections of options that you can choose but some of them can only be used if you are using the pro account but don't worry if you're using a free account like me you can still export your video by choosing on the free option so i'm just going to choose on one of them instead wait for it to load and then i download it and this is how it looks like so you can see that with the free account you will still get a jitter watermark but i think if you want to use it for another video or for another animated picture you can probably just cut it off first before you use it so that is how you can animate your social media post with jitter i hope this tutorial is helpful for you thank you so much for watching and have a great day